Fudge sickles. Yes! <laughs> ah, it works! It works, it works! Oh, that is amazing! Look at that! 8.85 miles! Focus, you f Look at that shit! Oh, hell yeah! They're not even aimed real well yet. Uh, 516 megs one way and only 250 the other. That's kind of garbage. Man, if you had any idea how much of a pain in the ass this was. So remember when I said progress, right? So progress, progress. Yeah, I was making progress. I had to spend about three hours longer than I really should have on the stupid ass router because my provider gave me the wrong IPs, but you know, no big deal, whatever. Got it up and running. Okay, fine. These fucking antennas though, oh my God, what a pain in the ass. Could not get them to connect, could not. They, they just wouldn't do it. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? It was one letter wrong in the configuration, one. Wasn't even the wrong letter. I capitalized the password in one of them and not in the other. And today we got them aimed as well as we could and the uh, receiving antenna could see the master antenna. The slave could see the master, but the master couldn't see the slave. Now, when you're aiming these, when you're setting them up, the slave won't broadcast until it hears the master. And that got me thinking, I was like, well, okay, yeah, that would make sense then. There's something wrong in the configuration. There has to be. Because the slave could see the master, but not the other way around. That's because the master was sending it out and the slave wasn't sending anything, sending anything back because the configuration was wrong. Turns out that's exactly what it was. So I came over to the data center and updated the uh, firmware and started going through shit and... Yep. Oh my god, the amount of work I've put into this unnecessarily. Moral of the story, kids, check your damn configs, okay? Because, damn. Ugh. But yeah, it works. So now we have to aim them better because they are not aimed very well at all. These are supposed to carry two gigabits total and they're not. Still got about 517 going one way and only 250 something the other. That's uh, that's not good. Let's see, maybe I can tweak some stuff. Let's see if I can do channel width. Channel width, I learned on my other antennas, that's where your uh, your speed kind of comes from. Your literal bandwidth, like the, the frequency width that you would use, the wider it is, the faster your speeds would be, but the more noise and junk you'd pick up. And it doesn't look like this is changeable on these antennas. Which, that's fine, I guess. I guess it doesn't really matter, but yeah. So still have some tweaking to do, but damn it, they work. Thank God. I was starting to lose my shit. Yeah, definitely gonna have to uh, aim these better because this ain't gonna cut it. Not for what I wanna do. I purposely got these two gig antennas, the ones that are, you know, theoretical max of two gigs, in the hopes that I wouldn't lose more than half of its bandwidth <laughs> to noise. To, to on the way there and back. I was really hoping it would be, um, because I only want to get a gig over. I only have a gig at my router. So I was thinking I wouldn't lose half of my bandwidth on the way. And it's looking like I'm losing, I mean, they're not aimed yet, but it's looking like they're losing a lot more than that. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll, uh, I'll get it, get it hooked up, get them aimed a little better and we'll be up and running. Now it's time to do the rest of the router stuff and get them so they actually can pass some damn traffic. And uh, yeah, but again, progress, <laughs> later. What's going on? So I'm up here on the roof with my new best friend, Antoine. My big burly boy. Oh, look at it. And uh, there's a really loud air conditioner up here, so yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. But uh, finally got it working. It doesn't like it when you stand in front of it, apparently. <laughs> got uh, about a half a gig that way, once it figures out what the hell it's doing. And about a half a gig that way, 
So definitely not as uh, oh. so definitely not as fast as I would have liked. Um, the things have a theoretical max throughput of two gigs and a range of about 15 kilometers. Uh, my shot is 14 point something kilometers, about a little under nine miles. And that's why I got these. I was hoping that, yeah, it's kind of pushing the range a little bit, but being as there's two gigs to work with, I could lose half of it and still be okay. Because I'm only pushing a gig out of here, so I don't need any more than, you know, half of that anyway. Well, uh, yeah, about that. I don't know if you can see or not, but there's big ass antennas right behind me. And we're kind of starting to think that those work on 24 gigahertz just like this does. Creates a lot of interference, and that's why it's not going as fast as it should. That being said, it is a very, very stable connection. As long as you don't stand in front of it like I was. The antennas that I use now, the little dishes, those things, man, they'll bounce up and down on speed like crazy. These very little fluctuation at all it's very very cool i am going to come back up here and add some more bracing to the mast because the mast is rather thin metal and the thing's kind of heavy when it's real windy it'll wobble all over the damn place and we don't want that happening so i'm going to come out and make the uh the little braces a little bit taller ah peace and quiet and I'm also going to do some uh some more fine tuning as far as the alignment goes I don't think it's perfectly aligned um, we got it last night. Actually, I got it up and running last night, but we got it aimed more or less as good as we could without them connecting last night. That's why I came back up today and, you know, tried to dial it in a little bit better. And I got it a little better, but it's still not quite as good as I would have liked. But yeah, uh, I fucking did it. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is nuts. This is crazy. I'm on top of a data center shooting internet nine miles down where I live. I, it, it's craziness, crazy. And the fact you can do this with, you know, I bought these things off Amazon for fuck's sake. The fact you can do this shit with just like off the shelf hardware, even if it is somewhat expensive off the shelf hardware, it's pretty amazing. Celebratory cigar. Um, I'm done with this for now. I'm gonna go downstairs and work on the router some. I gotta get some, uh, some router stuff set up so it can actually pass traffic between the two antennas. And then I'm gonna head down to the relay house and install the uh, sector antenna. And then I'll be able to go to my house and connect it, make sure it works, see what kind of speeds we're getting and everything. So I think that'll be the next video. I'm gonna leave this here for now. Uh, but yeah, until next time. <laughs> Progress, right? Stupid ass air conditioner. <laughs> Later.